Hi, rest stroke picking or gypsy picking is a great picking method that allows you to get the most out of your guitar. In this video, I'll be showing you how it sounds versus flat picking or alternate picking over a few of my guitars. I'll show you the fundamentals of this picking method and I will also invite you to a unique interactive workshop. Non-gypsy picking. Well, when you play Gypsy Jazz, this is a must to get that original unique sound. But not only with Gypsy Jazz. Joe Pass used the rest stroke picking as well, either when he played it acoustically. <laughs> versus with the rest stroke picking. And also when you connect your arch top to the amp, you can get that unique sound that you hear in Django's late electric recordings. But also with the dreadnought guitar, instead of letting it sound like that, it can sound like that. Instead of... It can be... There is something with the picking, with the rest stroke picking that get a much more round, full and even louder tone. Well, I'm not so used to play uh, alternate or flat picking anymore and I also used a very heavy 3mm Gypsy Jazz pick in these demonstrations. So I suppose that if you take someone else who is expert in um, uh, flat picking or alternate picking and will compare the sound, you will hear even a larger um, difference in the volume and tone. Many people who play rest stroke picking feel that they get tense and stuck, especially when they try to jump from a higher string to a lower string, or when they want to play faster, or when they play in real time situation and get stressed versus playing at home. And that happened because they didn't really master the movement of the rest stroke picking, which is when I play the oud, it's the exact same movement. This picking method was used for hundreds of years over ancient instruments because before having the amplification, people had to get the maximum sound and volume from their acoustic instrument. And there are very clear movements that if you master them correctly, you won't get stressed, you won't get tension, vice versa, your hand will be loosened when you play it, and you will be able to jump strings and play loud all over your fingerboard. There are three movements that you must master to learn the rest stroke picking. The down stroke, which comes from your elbow, yes, from the elbow and you rest on the string below. Many people say, but when you play fast, we don't see you move your elbow, you move your wrist. But that's because I've learned to loosen my wrist. So I use my elbow and my wrist is very, very loosened. So when I play slow, you will see I use my elbow. When I play fast, you don't see it, but I started here and I ended here. It means that I use my elbow. So the first movement is how to pick the down stroke and rest on the string below from the elbow. The second movement is the sweep. When you play from a lower string to a higher string, it's like one movement that moves from your elbow and get that sound, which is accurate at the same volume from a string to a string. And the last movement is the up stroke, which has to have the exact same volume as a downstroke. So if you get... You the, the upstroke doesn't sound very clear, you need to... 
and in the upstroke you don't use your elbow. Sound complicated? So let me invite you to a unique online workshop where I'll be able to see you the way you play and help you correct your rest stroke picking so you'll be able to play without any effort, without tense, so you can play fast, so you can skip strings, so you can do whatever you want while getting the clear and crisp sound. And especially if you want to play gypsy jazz and you want to get that unique Django Reinhardt sound in your playing and it doesn't matter what instrument you use. So you will see here somewhere above or below a link to join this workshop. Join me and I'll help you get the perfect rest stroke picking and that unique gypsy jazz sound. See you.